Hi everyone, my name is Les. I read and welcome to another vlog. So I'm going to start vlogging regularly. That is the plan from now on. And um, I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited for this new chapter for my channel. So we're just going to get started. I didn't anticipate to have several things on the go. Um, and I plan to incorporate an audiobook as well. But I am in the middle of technically only through three things. Um, I'm in the middle of three different things. Is that even the right way? No. <laughs> but anyways, plus I have an additional comic. I am not normally a comic book reader, but um, I picked up one on a whim when I was in the library with the kids. And I bought a couple just for my collection. So for the comics, I a while ago I picked up some Star Wars comics. I got the Star Wars Age of Resistance Heroes and then the Villains. And honestly, I only picked this up because I wanted to read more Kylo Ren stuff. But I saw since there was a Heroes one, I thought I'd pick it up. I started this one a while ago. I might just re read the stories that I've read already. Basically, they're kind of like anthologies. They're just some short excerpts, um, short stories, I guess, featuring one of the main characters. So I'm excited to get into these. When I was at the library, I picked up this Angel comic. I'm in the middle of rewatching Buffy and I'm watching Angel for the first time. And this is called Omnibus. I don't even know what that means. I started the first like story. Again, it's kind of like an anthology where there's um, several stories. You have the curse, old friends, and then there's some spotlight with some other characters from the show. So I'm excited to get through this. I don't think it'll be spoilery because I'm only in season two of the show. Um, but like... Is it spoilers if you're reading something within the same universe? Like, you don't find out anyways. So, I don't know. I don't really care. I just am enjoying this world. And I'm excited that there's some comics. So, I think I need to do some more research in order for me to continue reading um, Buffy and Angel comics. I know there's a Buffy season 8 in comic book form, which I wouldn't mind reading. But I don't want to read that until after I finish the TV show, and then there's like new comics. Um, so I don't know. I have some research. I have some research to do about that universe, but I'm excited. I'm also in the middle of Air Fire by Sarah J. Mass. I'm almost done. I'm on page four fourteen, and it's a uh, five hundred and six. D two page book. Yeah, I still have over a hundred pages to go. Um, this book is interesting. How do I feel about this book? I don't know. I read Throne of Glass and Crown of Midnight during the summer, and then I realized I should pick up the series again because it was a long time since I last read the last two books, and I liked the last two books. I gave them four stars. The thing I'm a little upset about with the series is I anticipated like falling in love with this series and it being like a brand new five star series and books and everything, and so far it's not. Like it's been four stars. I'm still enjoying it and everything, but this book is like boring. I'm really, really bored, and there's like multiple storylines happening where in book one and two is just one main story and since the characters are split up there's like two main stories kind of happening plus an additional new story that I have I don't care like I don't so we follow Selena and Rowan that's one storyline that's my favorite of all the storylines then there's like Kale and Dorian and there's some scenes with just Dorian by himself and there's some scenes with Cole by himself like, it's fine. Um, and then we're introduced to a new character. I forget how to say his name. Adian. Probably Adian. That's probably how you say his name. I'm really excited about him, but there's not much. He's not in the story t too much yet. And then there's this whole witch storyline, which is in the wyverns. The serpent, snake, dragon things. And I don't care about the witches. Like, I'm... I feel like I'm just pushing myself through. Like it's vaguely interesting, but I just find myself bored because it's new content, it's not 
overly related to the main story and so I know what's going on here like I anticipate the author is setting up for the next phase of the series which makes sense because it's such a long series like this is book three out of seven main books plus an additional anthology so um, it makes sense that we kind of need a setup book. I am excited to see what happens in book four instead. I think I will enjoy that story. Like when the characters all get back together, I think that's when I get, I will enjoy the story more. I'm interested to see like character dynamics. I'm interested to see what people, other people think of Rowan. And I want to see what, I want Selena to meet up with Adian and everything. I don't know if I'm saying his name right or not, um, but so that's what I'm looking forward to when the story can be over and then I can move on. The thing about this is after this I pretty much need to read the anthology supposedly before I read book four. I'm not super excited to read the anthology or the short, I shouldn't call it anthology, sorry, like the short story collection. I'm not super excited to read it but I probably should. So, and then I need to pick an audiobook. So I don't know what kind of audiobook I'm gonna read. I usually listen to nonfiction, but I think I'm more excited about trying to listen to uh, some fiction. We'll see what I come across, but that is the plan right now. I'm gonna do some reading. I'm thinking, cause I'm like not super excited to get into Air and Fire. I think I might pick up um, Angel right now and I'm also gonna pick an audiobook that's what I'm gonna do right now and I'll get back to you guys in a bit Okay, so I found my audiobook. I just wanted to quickly look. It's a new release, and I'm actually really excited about it because I learned about it before, and it sounds like something I would like. It's called Nameless Queen. I'll put an image here, too, as well. Um, it's written by Rebecca McLaughlin, and it's a royal fantasy, and what I like about it is it's short. It's only nine hours, or, like, maybe ten hours, which is quite short for a fantasy, and it's standalone, so I'm really excited about that. And it's a world where an unlikely person becomes queen. I think she's like a civilian, maybe even poor, and she must be destined or something. Like she has a mark on her declaring her the queen, like a birthmark or something. And everyone expected, obviously, the king's daughter to become queen, but it ends up being this civilian woman or girl, young woman. Um, so I'm excited to listen to this. So this is going to be my audiobook, which is good because I have some folding to do when it comes to laundry and I'm going to go for a walk later, I hope. So yeah, I'm excited about that. So I'm about to have lunch um, and I'm this amount through the Angel comic and so I read the first story and I I liked it okay, it was good, but I'm in the middle of the second one I'm really really enjoying it because there's some of the characters that I am familiar with from watching the show. So I'm really enjoying this. I don't know how to rate this, but the fact that I want to keep reading and I'm excited to keep reading and that I want to read more comics means it's a good, it's definitely a thumbs up. I guess I would say the first story was maybe like a three star. Still really enjoyable. The fact that it kept me engaged the whole time says a lot. I wasn't too crazy about the story. I think mostly because it's all brand new characters and Angel was the only character that I knew. When the second story, there's new characters and it's a bit of a mystery. You're not really sure what's going on or what will happen. So I like that and there's really, I would say I'm halfway done because there's a portion here that's just art, which I still, fun to watch and everything or look through. Actually the majority of it is stories. That part is stories and then this is the art stuff. So yeah, maybe I'm a third of way through. But I plan to finish this today and um, at least I think so. We'll see how it goes. But I definitely want to look up some stuff to see how many comics are out there. Like I want to do some research because I want to keep reading these kind of comics.